could hold the boat a bit steadier. Oh, look at that. Bit of activity over there. Oh, something just had a chomp at my come back. That was my first little bit of action then. G'day folks, Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing. Well, the electric's buggered this morning, so we're without that, so we're in, in drift mode. Just up a creek, and uh, first up we're going to look for a few brim, around a bit of structure, and once that's done we'll go hunting flatty. Whatever it was, I can't believe it launched out of the water. Do you reckon a jack? Even though it's cold and whatnot. Yeah, well, it was the right colour, it was a dark, like yeah. jacks go dark. But four pound line, whatever it was, it was never gonna Get it see the light of day. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh, the littlest flatty in the world. This is a good drift, Danny. Oh, come on. Oh. It's a big lure, too. Grab the net. At least it was a quality brim. Is it a flatty? Yep, it's a big flatty too. That's 60, 65 centimetre that one. I reckon 62 to 65 that one. What do you reckon, Jordan? Yeah, I reckon I'll, that's just hold that one. Pushing pretty big, eh? That's a nice fish. Yeah, 
No, I don't need. A motor oil on a chin lock again. Yep. That's my um lady killer that one. Jordan's using chin lock with a quarter ounce. I'm just using a quarter ounce big eye and uh, a three inch slim swim. Jordan's got the slim swim, I think. What do you got, Harry? You got a, I think Harry's uh, yes, got a curly tongue. Slim swim. We're up the creek because at the moment it's blowing 20 knots in the passage and probably more than that outside in the bay but up the creek you can get right out of the wind we've probably got eight knots up here maybe the retrieve that i'm using is just a, a really slow roll along the bottom with the occasional hop Fish this one. Is it on? Yeah. Big brim. Bugger. I thought it was a floody. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez, the brim are taking the four inch stuff today. And another 30 centimeter brim caught on a three and a half inch. Oh, Jordan's on. in relation to it getting to the bottom you you watch and you can actually see the V in your line moving toward you as your line sinks when that V slows down and stops you know you're on the bottom you the uh, line will also go from a stiff line to one that bellies a little bit really important that your lures get into the bottom Last week's pay. Hey, still going. Yeah. I reckon he's the same size as the last one. No, 30, he's, 39. He's at least 39.9. Spotty. Yeah, it's a nice little fish. Yep, 42. So
So second spot in the creek today. Paul's got motor oil on, I've got a bad shad. I think everybody knows what colour motor oil is, it's that green. It's plain green, fluorescent green. That's the bad shad. It's quite a nice looking lure this one. I'm pretty impressed with the look, but the old motor oil catches everything. It's hard. Come on, good fish too. Oh, That'll be 45, 50, you might need the net. Nice flatty, look at it. Stand it up. Very nice, that'll go 48, I reckon, 48, 50. Top fish. No, don't worry about the length. He's 50. 50. 50. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch you on the next vid. Take care. So, out fishing with the missus, and I say to the missus, what kind of music would you like to listen to? And she said, beats me, something catchy.